Mixed emotions filled the 1999 season for the West Virginia Mountaineers. Highs and lows were tossed together to create the roller coaster ride. The season was one the Mountaineers were not accustomed to. Success is the foundation of this football program, and 1999 left an unfamiliar bad taste. Through good and bad, Don Nealon's 20th team at West Virginia played hard. 20 seniors made sure that this team had the character to never quit. By finishing on a positive note, the seniors laid the groundwork to not accept anything in the future but success. This season contained a little bit of everything. Injuries, bad breaks, strong performances, wins, losses, and luck all define the story of Mountaineer Football 99. The 1999 West Virginia University football highlights are presented by United National Bank. Despite losing 11 starters from last season's eight-win squad, Don Nealon entered his 20th season at West Virginia with hopes of making his 13th bowl appearance as a Mountaineer head coach. However, there were key positions that needed to be filled. We had lost our offensive line, we'd lost our defensive line, we'd lost our wide receivers, and then the Amos decided to go pro. So we knew we had to replace the entire offense. But we said we got the key ingredient, the quarterback. And that quarterback was Mark Bulger, who opened his senior year with 21 school records already in hand. After helping guide the Mountaineers to consecutive bowl appearances, West Virginia players knew that Bulger was a proven leader who could keep his composure and perform under pressure. My expectations were definitely to go to a bowl, and uh, it was to win a bowl. That was the goal of the whole team, and that's just assuming that you're going to go to one, and we would have never thought that things would have worked out like this, but uh, we knew we were going to be young, and we had things to work on, and uh, between the injuries and some of the bad luck we had early on, just so we knew it was going to be a long year. Unfortunately, injuries did play a major role as Mark Bulger only played a game and a half completely healthy. While being forced out of four games, he was able to overcome two broken bones in his throwing hand and added to his record-setting status. In four seasons, Mark Bulger established new plateaus for future West Virginia quarterbacks to shoot for. After 59 touchdowns and over 8,100 passing yards, he departs Morgantown as the most decorated quarterback in school history. While it was painful to see Mark Bulger sidelined with his injuries, it did give his backup a chance to gain valuable experience and showcase his talent. Well, I think the fact that Brad Lewis went in in some very tough situations. Uh, you know, the dome up there in Syracuse is not easy to play, and uh, all of a sudden, Brad, you're in. <laughs> you know, wow, here we go. And he did pretty well. There were other pleasant surprises on this football team, including the record-breaking performance of freshman running back Avon Coburn. His output of 113 yards per game easily led all freshman runners in the nation. I knew he was going to be good because of his determination and his work ethic. I didn't know he would be quite as good as he turned out to be. But at the end of the year, he was a very polished, determined running back. He's a joy to be around. He's great to coach. Avon had missed his entire senior year in high school with a knee injury, but fought back to become West Virginia's all-time freshman rushing leader with more than 1,100 yards in just 10 games. And his 210 yards rushing against Pitt snapped the Mountaineer field single game rushing record. Number 22, Avon Colbert carried the ball. Avon mixed power and finesse fighting for every possible yard. That's a testament to his work ethic and his tireless efforts in the weight room, which have paid off. I was started last year, and I want other people to see it. I mean, if you work hard, things can happen for you. Avon had many spectacular games and highlight runs, but there were standout performances that came from all phases of this team. Offense. Defense.
and special teams. Corey Ivey led all Mountaineer receivers with 53 receptions, averaging over 12 yards per grab, earning him all Big East Conference honors. He stands fifth in career receptions at West Virginia. Antonio Brown solidified this year's wideouts, hauling in 50 balls for 462 yards and led the team in receptions in six games. He also had some electrifying punt returns. Antonio Brown going to field from the 20-yard line, starts up field over the 25, cuts back at the 30, over the hole he comes, at the 40, it's a foot race, one man to beat, it's the kicker, here is Brown over the 30, no one's going to touch him, 20, 15, 10, 5, Enzo, touchdown, Antonio Brown! Jay Taylor was another part of a tremendous year for special teams, connecting on 94% of his kicks. His most dramatic field goal came in the closing seconds against Temple, where he dashed the Owls' hopes of an upset with a 32-yard field goal. The kick is up. It is good! Jay Taylor! The other half of the kicking game was solidified by freshman Mark Fazolari, who won the punting duties in fall camp. He led the Big East with 41 and a half yards per punt and took home all-conference recognition. Every time Nate Terry touched the ball, he was a weapon. Terry leads Morgantown as the top kickoff returner in West Virginia history and broke Willie Drury's old mark on an 81-yard return against Temple. Cornerback Perlo Bastine finished the season with a national ranking in defense. His six interceptions placed him in the top ten of that category and was tops in the Big East. Ryan Brady helped anchor the defensive front and was a steady cog along the line, totaling 51 tackles and four sacks, one coming at Syracuse for a safety. That's a safety. One of the most tenacious hitters in college football captained the Mountaineer defense in 1999. Barrett Green unleashed devastating hits time and again leading the squad with 126 tackles and 364 for his career. Good enough for sixth place in career stops at West Virginia. Could have had a better season. The team could have had a better season, but you know, you know, I left it all out on the field and I don't have any regrets about it. Barrett also earned the utmost respect from his teammates, being named a co-MVP for the season. You don't have that much respect from your teammates and your coaches, somebody you've worked with day in and day out. You know, that means a lot. For them to, I mean, nominate you for the award, such as MVP. One of those teammates was a fellow captain and team MVP, Anthony Beck. Sometimes a tight end's work can go unnoticed, but that was not the case with Beck. He developed into one of the country's finest by mixing speed and hands with power. Whether it was a catch and run or a tough grab over the middle, Anthony capped off one of the best performances by a tight end in West Virginia football history. Uh, Anthony Beck will go down as the best tight end that's ever played here because, in my opinion, he will have another, if the good Lord's willing and he doesn't get hurt, I'll bet he plays football another eight to ten years. I learned a lot this season being a team captain. And, you know, going through tough times, you know, you know, teaches you a lot about who you are and your teammates, and you know, it's going to help me down the road. The critics did not give West Virginia a chance against undefeated and third-ranked Virginia Tech. I know that no one thought we could or probably even had, a, you know, had us down for even a chance of winning, but I really felt that we could win, and I think the rest of my teammates did also. The West Virginia Mountaineers went toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the nation's best teams in what turned out to be one of the season's best games. Big throws, wide open, caught for a first down and much more. Bulger firing a deep ball, looking, and the pass is caught by Corey Ivey. I'm like, well, I can go out there and just show the whole world that I can run against this defense. And it worked out for me a little bit. I mean, they kind of shut me down the second half, but first half, I kind of 
got off on him a little bit. And Vic takes the snap and hands off the step. Hit in the backfield. Down he goes at the 34. This Mountaineer defense, which has played so well. Third and two. Kendrick gets outside. He may go. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Bulger takes the snap, handing off to Cobra. He looks for room. He's inside the 20, inside the 15. He's down, inside the 10. Here's Bulger dropping the throw. Bulger fires for the end zone. Pass is caught. Touchdown, Corey Ivey. Into the right corner of the end zone. Mark Bulger put it there. The nation's number three rated team scores first. But West Virginia answers. We go to halftime, tied at seven apiece. Bulger bruised his right thumb in the first half, and as far as we know, he is out of this ballgame, and Brad Lewis will come in as the backup for West Virginia. Lewis marking out the signals. The snap is back. He looks. He fires. Pass is caught by Porter. Porter with a first down. Play actions. Now he's in trouble. He's on the run. Vic, shifty move. He's hit it. Dropped to the 29. Oh, Merry Christmas. Here's Vic handing off. Stiff right through the middle. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Tech leads West Virginia by a dozen. A returnable kick fielded by Richard Bryant across the 2 to the 5 and out of the 10. Hit hard, and he loses the football. It's a loose ball picked up by the Mountaineers. Here comes Boussensen off the field. He's over the 35-40, up the sideline to the 50, and inside Virginia Tech territory all the way down to the 41. The fade thrown by Lewis. It is... Touchdown, West Virginia! Stiff again, lost the football! Sensible has it at the 32! Lewis looks, Lewis fires over the middle, pass is caught! Anthony back to the 15-yard line! Lewis throws, it is caught! into the huddle with the kickoff team and they said, hey coach, let's kick it. We're going to stuff them in a box. I said, hey, it's your team. We kick it. And those kids went down and stuffed them in a box. I thought right there we had that game won. We thought we won the game and then spectacular Michael Vick just went out there and spoiled all fun. to the left. The snap is back. The kick is on the way. It has the distance. The kick is good. Tech wins the game at the gun. 22 to 20. With the heartbreaking loss to Virginia Tech, there were some standout performances, including Jerry Porter's continuing emergence as a go-to receiver. Jerry matured into one of the most versatile and athletic players Mountaineer football has ever known. game, Jerry Porter looked more comfortable and finished his six games on offense with 311 yards on 15 grabs, averaging 21 yards per catch. But he saved his finest performance for the finale in the Backyard Brawl. Some people say that football builds character. Football does not build character. Football reveals character. It lets you know something about the kids you have playing for you. And had our team gone out there and quit, it would have revealed to me that we have no chance for next year. The fact that they went out there and played hard and didn't quit tells me we got a chance for next year. Now, hey, men, everything's been said. You know and I know we're a pretty damn good football team. This team has been good the last month, and this team's going to have its finest hour today. We're going to be dynamite today. You got it? 
every damn guy. I want every guy in the game. to the five, Enzo, touchdown, Avon Coburn, he left him in their tracks. That game is like a marquee game just because it's West Virginia Pitt, we're like 70 miles away from each other. That game coupled with the fact that we had like 19 seniors, we wanted to show the world that we weren't as bad as our record set. wants to go deep for Jerry Porter. Porter makes the catch at the 10 to the 5. Enzo, touchdown! Coburn cuts it back to the middle. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, West Virginia. Avon Coburn does it again. His third touchdown of the afternoon. Mark Bulger with nearly 30 school records to his name comes off the field for the final time. as Don Nealon celebrates down below and the West Virginia Mountaineers end the 1999 season with a convincing victory over the arch rival Pitt Panthers, West Virginia 52 and Pitt 21. The 1999 season did not go as planned for all involved. The Mountaineers, though, did play their best football in the second half of the season, and performers like Corey Ivey, Avon Coburn, Brad Lewis, Chris Edmond, and Kyle Caden must now step up to lead this team. West Virginia football will carry momentum into the 2000 football season. Many shining stars on offense, defense, and special teams return to bring this program back to familiar ground. Things happen for a reason, and some of the disappointments in 1999 still remain a mystery. But through dedication and commitment, Coaches and players stand unified to go forward and improve. Come on! Every down! Come on! Every down! Everyone will remember 1999. The final record of 4 and 7 serves as the motivation to see that it doesn't happen again. We'll be back. We'll be back. Mountaineer Football 99 has been presented by United National Bank. This has been a presentation of MSN, the Mountaineer Sports Network.